Hello. Christmas is just around the corner. I mean, that's not a lie. It doesn't matter that next week is Halloween. That does mean that Christmas is just around the corner. Christmas season starts November 1st. And I know here there's this whole thing, you know, you shouldn't start until after Remembrance Day in Canada. Uh, and that's fine. And so I won't put up my Christmas tree. I've actually started to wait until December to put up my Christmas tree. But the real reason that I wanted to make this video, it is about Christmas for me, actually about Christmas, because I love Christmas. Like, I, I, I can't imagine a world where I didn't have Christmas with, I mean snow is becoming less and less likely which is crazy and scary but just that like cold wintry feeling I could never do a hot Christmas I mean I wouldn't want to I just I live for everything Christmas Christmas season Christmas like in the north kind of thing but the reason really that I wanted to make this video was for something even bigger than Christmas, which is hard to do for me. Because Christmas is one of like the biggest things in my year every year. But it's about being excited for things to happen and how important that is. And I make sure that I always do that to stay sane, to stay mentally healthy. I think it is so important. I mean, there's lots of people that are driven by their jobs that are into their jobs, I'm sure. And so they are really driven and motivated and excited by that. But there are so many people that are not. That actually, I think, you know, having that job and doing that day after day after day really wears on your mental health. And I want to explain that because it's not like you become depressed per se. It's not like anything like that per se, though it could be. But when I had COVID, when I had COVID time, and even before that, because I had things going on, but during COVID time, I was laid off and I had a long period where I was not employed at my pay for paid job like I am now. I had a long time off, long, long, long time, as a lot of people did, a long time at home. And for me to take that step back and just live life at home and do things creatively, not only was it so fulfilling, but it was so eye-opening to me it was so eye-opening how much just that day-to-day -day going to work even if you don't have any take-home work just doing that day-to-day -day kind of takes away from sometimes I'm sure not for everyone but for me takes away from that creative person and how important it is not to let yourself get kind of comfortable in the discomfort of work because there's so many people they go to a job they don't like it their body their soul their mind rejects it but they have this thing in their head that they have to accept it this is their life and that wears on them I see that and they're not happy and they're resentful of this choice that they've made but they don't know that there's anything outside of that or they haven't explored that and it's just so important. And I noticed during COVID for me, like I was making content or planning content every day and ideas were coming to me every day because I was in that state. And now being back at a working for a pay job, I am no longer in that state all the time. And I'm aware of that. So that bothers me. And I make sure to go to a place in my mind where I can disconnect 
on the weekends or whatever and kind of get back into that place as much as possible and it's not the same like it's not I'm not there where I was before when during COVID it was and it's so funny because you know you think oh you're inside and creativity is gonna kind of gonna dwindle but it was the opposite being inside and just having to output that creativity every day stuff came to me constantly ideas came to me constantly but now that I wake up and do the nine to five every day my head is kind of in that nine to five even when I'm not there and that kind of dullness you know is there there's no creative stuff coming to me and I'm happy that I'm aware that I hate that <laughs> so that I can reject it and I can go into that creative place as much as possible on the weekends or just keep pushing into that, being excited about being creative on the weekends, being excited about thinking about that because what happens to so many people is they just, they lose that creative spark because they're in their job, they're in their life with their kids, with their whatever. They don't really realize how spiritually creatively uncomfortable it is that they're losing that and they just kind of get into this state and then they're not happy they're restless they're resentful they're all this this stuff and they don't necessarily even know why so it's so amazing i think living in this time that we do live in now where if we're conscious about it, that we can say, you know, I'm not going to be 100% in my job, in my house, in my kids, in the, you know, day-to-day -day stuff you have to do with kids. There's, there's a lot. I'm going to, you know, if it's an hour a week or if it's a whole weekend a week, pull myself out of that and go somewhere creative. Not just to like have a hobby I mean maybe it's your thing to do pottery maybe it's your thing that's not my like thing to have hobbies but for me it's about creative work but if it's about you know going into your pottery going into your painting going into whatever whatever creativity whatever outlet I mean that's fantastic but just to do it just to do it and if you can't you know do the pottery because at this point in time you can't afford it you know you can't physically get there because you live in the country I don't know then you know you can just draw it you can just a lot of the time like I was saying during COVID when I was doing content it wasn't like I was filming every day though I was filming a lot and then I'd you know scrap a lot of things or whatever but it wasn't necessarily about filming every day but just like thinking about scripts for videos every day thinking having ideas come to me kind of formulating like you know video series and and stuff like that so i mean it doesn't have to be the pottery doesn't have to be about actually doing the pottery you can just draw the pottery or write about wanting to do the pottery or something just just get there just to get there creatively and see how much that connects you with you with your your real life with your real self and it makes you know it's important to go through your life, go through your days and just feel good. And and having that nine to five and, and not liking it or or maybe you do like it, but you know, it doesn't creatively spark you. And you know that like the you is waiting for you with that hour or that weekend or whatever the case may be. So I just wanted to, oh, there's a birdie. Oh, oh hello birdie. Oh, hello. Oh, that's cute. So I just wanted to, to hop on here and talk about that today. And this is Cass Contents, and I will see you in the next video.